Notes Payable Basics Problem 2. On December 31st, year one, Pineapple Company borrowed $84,000 on a 9% five-year note with annual installment payments of $16,800 plus interest due on December 31st of each succeeding year. On December 31st, the principal amount was recorded as a long-term note payable. What amount of the note payable will be shown as a current portion of the long-term notes payable on the balance sheet as of December 31st, year one? This question specifically asking what amount of the note or notes payable will be shown as a current portion on, I'm sorry, of the long-term notes payable on the balance sheet as of December 31st, year one, as of December 31st, year one. And we're looking at the date on December 31st, year one. That's when the company borrowed $84,000. So at that date, how much of this $84,000 note payable in terms of maturity, when is it finalized? Five years, so it's over five years, with installment payments of $16,800 plus interest due on each of the December 31st of each succeeding year. Now the question is asking the current portion. What you're doing here is think of a balance sheet. Remember balance sheet, we've got assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. So on the left side, we're going to have all the assets. The right side, we're going to have liabilities, owner's equity. Under the liabilities portion, we're going to have notes payable. Now we need to break up the current portion and the long-term portion. Now it's all about, remember current versus long-term. Current is due within one year or less of the balance sheet date. So the balance sheet we're asked here is the balance sheet as of December 31st, year one. So that's the date we're looking at. Remember a balance sheet is a snapshot. It's like if you took out your phone, took a picture and you had that snapshot of the company's assets, liabilities, owner's equity on that specific date, 1231 year one. Liabilities, what the company owes in the future. We either through money or services, if it's unearned revenue or, or products, if it's unearned revenue. The idea here is that we have a total notes payable on December 31st, year one of $84,000. None of the installment payments have yet come, come due. Now let's think of a timeline. We're on December 31st, year one now, right? So December 31st, year one, we can draw this out. Again, there's five installments that are gonna be due. So December 31st, I'm not gonna put that. I'm just gonna put year two, year three, year four, year five, and year six. So one, two, three, four, five payments. Now on this date, on December 31st, year one, the question is how much of this $84,000 is within one period? So one specific year. Well, just this one, just the payment one. That is considered current. The remaining portion, which I'll do a, a bigger squiggly line, this these four remaining payments due at the end of year three, year four, year five, and year six, which are the four remaining payments, those are considered long-term. So all we're doing here is, remember, there's 16,800 due each respective date. So 16,800, 16,800, 16,800, 16,800, and 16,800. Only one is current. The remaining portion is long-term. So we're, the question here is just asking for the current portion. That's easy. It's just going to be 16,800. If you wanted to calculate what the the four payments that are uh, long term as of this date, you just take sixteen thousand eight hundred times four, which equals sixty seven thousand two hundred dollars. So of the eighty four thousand dollars, which again none of it has been paid off yet, sixty seven thousand two hundred is long term, and sixteen thousand eight hundred is current. So the correct answer for this question is 16,800. Again, you could also be asking the same question, what is the long-term portion on this date? And it'd be 67,200. Now you can even go further. You could say on year, at the end of year two, December 31st, year two, what portion, if you're looking at the December 31st, year two balance sheet, what portion is considered current? Which portion is considered long-term? Well, one payment would have been paid off, right? The 16,800 due on December 31st, year two. So there's only 67,200 left. 
16,800 of that would be current, and then three payments, 16,800 times three, would be long term. You could keep going for each year. So keep that in mind when you're going through this to understand how it works for each year.